Hi, this is Amir Andor uh, from Webpreneur TV. I'm now standing here with Fadi Randor, who's the founder and CEO of Aramex. Aramex is one of the biggest uh, delivery platforms in the region. They do uh, packages, goods, logistics. So, uh, Fadi, you founded the company back how long ago? 28 years ago. 28 years ago. So you stuck with a, a goal that you had 28 years ago. When did you first come up with a concept for Aramex? 28 years ago. So it, it was an idea that we, I was discussing with a friend of mine. It was his idea really, not mine. So he said there's this, uh, you know, uh, delivery business that is happening in the West, FedEx, DHL, whatever. And the Arab world is not uh, in tune yet. The post offices are really lousy, which they still are in terms of delivery and, and giving a good service. So why don't we try and do this thing? And you know, the rest is history. So it was wow. It was that yeah. It was that simple. And what makes you someone like you take action? So many of us have these ideas in our bedrooms, and then so nothing. Take action. I mean, didn't take much. I said uh, I had just graduated from college. I. I had the support of my family. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we brought in two other, three other partners, so we were four partners, and we said we want to do it. I, I had nothing to lose, really, at the end of the day. I was, uh, uh, I thought the idea was great. I thought it's something that I can learn because I didn't study business in, in school. I, I studied something else. So, yeah. uh, what the heck? Go out and do it. So I went out and did it, and and being uh, learning the business uh, in the first couple of years, uh, I became extremely passionate about it, and you know. We're, we're 10,000 people in, in 180 offices uh, across the globe today. Wow. When you look back 28 years ago, did you think that in 28 years' time you'd be standing here talking about you know, no. 10,000 jobs that uh, you've no, created, not, right? Not, to, uh, not 28 years ago, but I can tell you that uh, five years later, uh, so maybe 20, 20 years ago, I realized that this is something that's going to go big. I, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it and, and I... Uh, with my team, obviously, uh, we knew that we had something great, yeah. and we believed in it, and we thought well, this is something that we're going to build and we're going to take places, and, and we're we're here. And how? What about the mindset of an entrepreneur? Because right now you've got ten thousand people that rely on making their daily bread because of you, right? What what goes through your mind? Do you wake up and go, oh, I got to cater for ten thousand people? No, or? I, I am. I sleep well. I am no longer in the no sleep business. Okay. Uh, because I have a fantastic team that works with me. Yeah. Uh, I have a, actually an incredible team. Uh, and we are cash flow positive, we pay salaries, we have innovate, innovation inside the organization. Uh, there are obstacles obviously, but you know, life is boring without obstacles. So if you have the good people that understand and believe are believers in what, uh, in what you do and they're owners in what you do, and they feel that this is their company, you, you can sleep well at night. And what about some of the tough times that you've gone through over the 28 years? How do you sustain it? Because, you know, people give up on the first, second, third hurdles. You kept going. Is there some so, you so read? I kept going and that's why I'm here. Because if, if I had stopped at the first hurdle, obviously I'd be somewhere else. Yeah. So, so the idea, if you're passionate about it, if, if you think you, are, uh, you have a product uh, and you, uh, that, that you can sell at a proper price yeah. and you believe in it, there's no reason whatsoever to, to stop at any hurdle. Awesome. You just keep going. You just keep going. I mean, there is nothing. Uh, entrepreneurship is hard work uh, and hard work and hard work and stubbornness and then a heck of a lot of good cash flow. <laughs> All right. And I see you're one CEO that really uses and gets social media. You use Twitter and Facebook and your employees connect to you. Do you find that you're using a lot of it for internal? Very empowering. Yeah. It's very empowering. Any CEO that doesn't think it's it's important and it's a waste of time to be on Twitter, is not going to last long in business. Wow! So you including can... the billionaires. Yeah. You've got to be on Twitter because you're going to be connecting virtually with the rest of the world. Twitter or anything else and social media in general, you're going to have to connect with the world, and, and that's the way to connect with it. So it's not a waste of time. I, I find it to be extremely useful. That's where I learn where my what my my clients want. What my employees are thinking of. This is, uh, you know, I can't be in, in every place uh, uh, at one time. Yeah. But in social media, I'm everywhere. Awesome. And uh, final words for people that are thinking about doing a business and want to be standing where you are 28 years later. What should they be doing? I, what should I be say doing? That, I say that the same thing for everyone. Is, uh, just go out and do it. Awesome. Fadi Vandor from Aramex.com, and uh, we'll catch you next time on Webinar.tv.